Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, today I'm showing you part two in my Moira stamping plate series and I'm showing you obviously the damask drapery plate. So it's plate number 11. So beautiful, beautiful packaging. I will show you the back as well. So it's just got some really easy instructions on the stamping there. And again, in Hungarian at the top, I'm assuming that's what it is. The plates are made in Hungary and then more Hungarian and I have got no idea what that says. So, beautiful, beautiful plates. They're 14.5 centimeters by 9.5, so the same size as B Loves Plates or Uber Chic. The images are, however, much larger. So you've got 20 on a plate rather than 30, I think the other plates have, something like that. They're just a bit bigger there. They're the size, pretty much the size of an Australian postage stamp, I guess. Okay, to stamp with, I'm using 10 color pops, which are obviously a bluey indigo color, and I'm using the color now what is it called indigo indio from the cali dreaming collection by bundle monster so i'll link that in the description bar i'm going to use and don't ask me why i've got the lid off but i'm going to use hit the bottles chromio more than likely I'm, i haven't 100 percent made my up my mind but i'll probably use a matte top coat if i do it'll be the madame glam and i'm going to be using my little trusty fabianelle stamper so i'm going to show you the plate and then i'm going to get straight on with the swatches Okay, so all done and top coated and I did use a regular top coat because I thought the shine would be better with the silver stamping polish and obviously ladies form an orderly queue at the Moira shop because you know you need these. <laughs> these are just gorgeous. This plate is stunning and the silver polish again I will say is hit the bottle from it's sorry it's chromio from hit the bottle so I'll link that below absolutely gorgeous combination i feel like i'm in some kind of luxurious french palace 
they've really really come up with some beautiful designs on this plate they're just so lovely that's so just ignore that that's just me being a messy pup not cleaning it properly so highly highly recommend that i think the packaging is lovely the etching is very very nice the designs are gorgeous the only thing I would say to bear in mind is you need to use obviously more polish because a couple of the images I scraped and I just had a tiny little corner missing because I was used to using slightly smaller images. Not an issue, just remember to put a bit more on. So I'm going to leave it there guys. I do have, as I said, I think I said, I might not have said, I've got another four to show you. So I'm going to do those over in the next few weeks. I will link these products in the description bar below along with the gel polish that I used. Guys, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, pop them in the comments bar and I'll get back to you. And please subscribe, guys. I really appreciate your support. I am going to be doing a giveaway in the very near future, so stay tuned. That is because I hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm not going to be all gushy and mushy on this video. I'll wait for another one for that. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.